Hello, I'm Brad. I'm the bug man. I'm here in a licensed medical marijuana grow facility. Recently, they've noticed some discoloration on some of the leaves. Some of the leaves uh, are getting sucked dry, curling up. If you look on the underside of the leaves, there are signs of webbing. That's telltale signs for spider mites. Spider mites are very destructive, not only for medical grade marijuana, they attack fruits, vegetables, they are found indoors in greenhouses as well as outdoors. Now there's a couple of different ways you can deal with spider mites. One is ladybugs, but this room is in somebody's house and they don't want a bunch of ladybugs flying from here into the kitchen. The other is green lacewing. They do a very good job. They're a general predator. They also go after white fly, uh, aphids, fungus gnats. But what we're going to do today is spider mite predators. They're species specific. They only go after spider mites. They're very aggressive. They attack all stages of the spider mite. They prefer the eggs but they will attack an adult spider mite as well. Plus, spider mite predators, the persimilis, what we're going to be using here, you get four female to every male. Females will lay three to five eggs a day. You'll get about 50, maybe 75 eggs out of uh, during her adult life. So it's a good long-term solution. Now, even though they do lay eggs, keep monitoring the situation. Three weeks after your release, if you still see any signs of spider mites, make another release. You don't want to get 90% of your problem and let it come back. Spider mites are very uh, aggressive. They reproduce pretty quickly, especially in nice, warm, good growing conditions like this. We want to spray down the foliage. Number one, spider mites do not like humid conditions. And most importantly is the wet foliage helps the uh, spider mite predator eggs uh, hold on to the foliage. And then that way, they hatch out near where the infestation and uh, the food is. And uh, they can go right to work for you. And this is just straight water. This is a container of spider mite predators. They are mixed in with this vermiculite. There are 2,000 eggs in this container. When you get your package, it's important you get it in off the front porch as soon as possible. These need to be released within 18 hours of arrival. Make sure that this does not get exposed to any sunlight before release. And when you're ready to go, you take it and you give it a couple of whacks like that and then roll it back and forth. This helps to evenly distribute the eggs that are inside. Take the jar, tap over the foliage, Try to get as even amount of coverage as possible and by turning and tapping you get a nice even release and like you saw these are ready to go to work.